Hi, I'm Sarah from Boating New Zealand and we're here today at Takapuna Beach to look at the Taka Cat. It's a beautiful day, maybe one of the last that we'll have. Let's get on with it. Greg Southern, the designer and manufacturer of the Taka Cat, was brought up on the shore, spent a lot of time down Taka Beach, so he said when it came time to name his new invention, Taka was the way to go. He's been making these for about seven years now. This is the latest development, the Taka Cat Light X and it comes in two model sizes, a 3 metre and a 3.4. And today we've got these two boats paired with the latest Honda four-stroke outboards. We've got a four-horse here and a six-horse on the larger model, so we'll talk a bit about those as well. So to put the boats together, all you have to do is take it out of the bag. We put the floats down, put in the bottom part of the transom, inflate one pontoon, put in the other part of the transom and inflate the other pontoon. Then the floor nestles in between, it is inflated and you're ready to go. If you're experienced, you've done this a few times, you can do it in less than 10 minutes and deflate the whole thing in less than five. So just to demonstrate how light this boat really is, check this out. Just like that, that gives you a really good look at the underside, that nice tough base. You can actually drag it up the beach, but it does also have wheels on the back, which we'll look at in a minute. The big difference between this boat and earlier Taka Cats is this bow design. Instead of the pontoons being tapered into a point, it's got this open bow, which might look a bit disturbing at first. You're like, this boat's got no front, but it's got some really practical applications. Really easy for climbing on and off if you're in the water, kids climbing in and out. If you're diving, just sitting here rolling into the water, getting gear on and off out of the water if you're bringing stuff back from diving. This floor, although it's inflatable rather than rigid, is really tough. Feels really good, nice and firm, nice and stable, and it'll hold all your dive tanks and all your gear. Plenty of stuff to hold on to, both on the outside and also the inside, depending on where you're sitting and, and how you're getting in and out. The boats also come with oars, so they can be rowed. So this is another new invention, the float seat. This is a really nice little cushion of air that you can move around. Instead of having a fixed seat that always gets in the way or isn't in the right position, you can just move this around to wherever you want it. The Taka Cat is heaps of fun out on the water too. It might look like a wet little boat, but it's actually surprisingly dry. Very stable, and it's almost got a floating on air kind of sensation with that inflatable floor rather than a hard, slamming floor. It manoeuvres easily and it's just heaps of fun. So today we're also looking at these new Honda four strokes. This is a new range BF4, 5 and 6. So those are two new classes for a small Honda engine. They're all four strokes. They've all got this new aerodynamic cowling and this grab handle. They're about 27 kilos, so nice and lightweight. These new models also have low emissions, they're much quieter, they've got a one and a half litre internal tank. You can go for about 40 minutes at full noise before you run out of gas. Now it's over to Cam from Honda with more details about the BF range of outboards. Thanks Sarah, I'm Cameron from Honda Marine. We're here today to look at the BF 4, 5 and 6. Specifically I've got a BF 6 on display here. Within the new range, the 4, 5 and 6 are all the same physical size and weight and we have two variants available with the short shaft 15 inch or the longer shaft 20 inch. Some of the key features about the new 4, 5 and 6 is they've all got a built in 1.5 litre petrol tank. That's the largest fuel tank available in a portable engine. We've got the option of an external uh, tote tank. So it gives you great, great range. They've all got a new redesigned engine mounting bracket, completely isolated from the engine power head and the tiller arm. So when the motor's running, um, there's very little vibration coming through the, from the engine, through the transom or through the tiller handle. All of them have got a much, much simplified starting system. It's a digital ignition system and they've got a balancing shaft inside the engine, which means when you are starting the engine, there's very little recall, or very little force required to start the motor. And then with that digital ignition system, it means that when you do push the stop button, the motor stops instantly. The motors are also backed up, like all of the Hondas, with a seven year warranty. That's seven years, unlimited hours. Uh, there's no diminishing clauses within our warranty program. The engines are as warranted after seven years as they are on day one. All right, thanks Sarah, and back to you guys at the beach. Instead of having to find an aftermarket product that fits, the boat comes with its own beach wheels. These just unclip, turn them around, 
Clap them on, away you go. These new tech cats are really practical. Heaps of fun. People like Coast Guard and event organisers at rowing events and sailing events are using them as well. But for family, divers, people who want to swim or fish, go ashore from a boat, they've got some really practical applications. They fold down really small, they're really lightweight, easy to assemble, and off you go. These new Honda outboards are a great pairing as well. Nice and quiet, low emissions, easy to use, and good grip. I think this is a great pairing and you can have a lot of fun on the water. John Acklesane from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.